you know, we have our Canadian Constitution, but we've always felt that the provinces have the ability to develop their natural resources. We see the federal government is using uh, environmental policy to, uh, to restrict in many cases uh, what we are doing and producing some of the most sustainable potash, oil, uh, you name it uh, here uh, for, for our, our global partners around the world. Um, that was held up by the Supreme Court in the case of, of carbon taxation. Um, but we don't believe that in any way sets a precedent for all of the other nine policies plus the Impact Assessment Act that uh, the federal government uh, continues to move forward on. The weighing in on the carbon tax policy doesn't preempt uh, that that's going to work on all of these other nine policies. So the the, uh, the, 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 the cap on, on fertilizer, for example, is, is outside of the bounds of the federal government, uh, federal government's jurisdiction. The cap on, on oil production, outside of the bounds of the, of the federal, federal government's uh, jurisdiction. And so, like I say, we'll get into the details of it once the, le the legislation is introduced. Um, but what the, the overarching focus of this is to provide certainty for the investment community and to ensure that this province is doing all that we can to, um, uh, to really reassert our, our constitutional right, uh, which is very, very clear in the Constitution that was uh, reconstituted in 1982, uh, that we do have the right to develop our natural resources.